You can't like, die in the shower. Like, you're just thinking well, about the well, Ask a lot of people yeah. who died in the shower, man. Like, people can die. <laughs> Did he just say ask a lot of people? <laughs> yeah. What <laughs> <We're, laughs> <we're> unalive? <laughs> My grandpa. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Cancelable Podcast. I'm here uh, with Kurosh. Yep. And <laughs> that was so gay. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> and Faisal. Sa. <laughs> For every episode. And Last episode, you were retarded. <laughs> now it is. Uh, bro, you were fucking going, hi. hi. Oh, you better gay than retarded. I think. And, no, that's why God is, yeah. and that's why God has stricken you down with a sickness right now. I think there's many reasons for that. <laughs> so yeah, heads up. If you, like, yeah. The fact that he's congested is because he's sick. And I think that's very clear. Yeah, I shouldn't have explained it. Anyways, my name is Bardia. And we're going to start the episode now. <laughs> Your name is Bardia? <laughs> Fuck it, <dude>. What is it? <laughs> Who is, am I? <laughs> what am I? Is this not like our... What, what, what episode is this? Ten. Ten? Isn't we're hitting this, the double. Is this you not Bardia our tenth? And, and you're still saying... <laughs> This is our celebration drink and your coffee. I guess it's <laughs> your <laughs> normal coffee. <laughs> Bro, I, I cheers to the tenth episode. Cheers. Oh, I can't cheers someone that's not drinking. Coffee is equi- equivalent to it. I mean, like it is. Mm. Why is it ice in my coffee? It's ice coffee. Fuck! I forgot. This is all whiskey. <laughs> I thought that was some soda. Like, Dude, you just—he <laughs> finished a fucking bottle and then like two cups. By the way. <laughs> Look uh, at him. <laughs> no, but it, no, no, but it's good for you. It'll clear out all that demon inside yeah? you. Yeah, that's if you say so, Doctor Face. <laughs> uh, did uh, I tell you that? WM- <laughs> bro, I'm better than WMD. If you have a fucking pimple on your ass, you got four weeks to live. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Have you have you ever tried that? No, I, fucking I, I, shit? I try to stay away. Bro, from I got like I actually have anxiety now. Whenever like if something hurts in my body, I just go on WMD. Yeah, the first stages of like brain cancer. I'm like, but bro, my nail hurts. No, the thing is that it always gives you like you'd be like oh I'm sneezing scenario. right it would be like uh, it could be a cold or first stages of Dementia. first signs of having a brain aneurysm like yeah, you're yeah, like yeah. fuck <laughs> like, it doesn't give you the middle ground no 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 it's, it's just, always like you're know, like yeah. two days yeah. you're good or two days you're, you're dead, dead. Yeah, yeah. yeah nice um <laughs> so so 10 episodes 10 it's, episodes man and it's we passed did. fast I mean like when did we start to be fair it's technically 11 no we never aired the first one yeah, yeah but for us it's technically 11 yeah but online it's the 10th one that's crazy that's on crazy. YouTube yeah. is the 9th one uh, let's not get into it yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's 10th uh, double digits yeah. yeah that is crazy so, guys. you guys think we should stick with it or is this the I last episode <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean I came here today to say to you guys that I, I, I've been called up by uh, the Joe Rogan show and I <laughs> Oh wow! All right, we understand. No, no, no. I think take us with I, you. I, would, I would totally understand, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. But I, but I think, I think we should keep going. No, I love this. Like to be honest, like when we, like there are so many aspects of the podcast that I like. One, the whole fact that we get to hang out with each other, shoot the shit, and and like it, legit, it's like you kind of talk shit out. You know what I mean? Like yeah. shit that freshes, and we have the same. Wavelength, not waveform. <laughs> I feel like you're not sleep deprived anymore. We have the same wavelengths, so it like helps a lot. Like I really enjoy like this the time that we have. Uh, Joe, but if Joe Rogan hit you up, please let, like that would be dope. You know how David Goggins like no it was the guy invited David Goggins to live with him for a month, right? Jesse Itzler. Yeah. Yeah. I would no way. I would say I want to live with too random of a topic for anyone to know. Ah, fuck <laughs> it. There's this like millionaire, who, mm-hmm. like there's this like really motivated guy who like it's like a whole insane level called David Goggins. It's a very motivational guy to follow him and everything. And but is he cheesy kind of motivational? No, 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 like, no, 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 no. I wake a, up at three in the morning and look at the sun. No, no, bro. He's a no, psycho. Sun. no, no, no he's, he's, he's a, a psycho. Like, like he did good. He's like, a Navy SEAL. He did the course three times. Then he became, I think, a ranger. Then a paratrooper. Now he's jumping out of helicopters to put out wildfires. But at the same time, he does like 240 mile marathons. Is he? He so went for a marathon unprepared, 100 mile marathon just to get like certified to actually run a marathon. Did he do it for his like comrades who had fallen? Yeah, 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 yeah. He I think I know him. Th- he's yeah. all over social he's media. He's on YouTube or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Big time, big time. Now he's like a whole big deal. But before, like, he really wasn't like that known. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but basically, this millionaire. Invi- hears about this guy invites him to come live with him for a month and 
agree to do whatever the Goggins guy says. And if you read his book, it's abs- like it's so fucking motivational. And like yeah. the guy's mindset is insanely tough. What's, what's the name of the book? Uh, I forgot. I gotta check. I'll it on send my, it to you. I have it in my audiobook. Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah, but maybe that. people here would like to. So let's let's uh, look it up. The name of the author is Jesse, Jesse Itzler. Itzler. Yeah, Jesse Itzler. Okay. Yeah, and I'm sure if you search so we'll his name, we'll just pop it up right here. Yeah, I'll put a picture of it up. But okay, it's so just on my hand. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but yeah. whatever the the audience are listening on Spotify and like, podcast. go subscribe to the YouTube channel. <laughs> let's not be dad demanding 10 episodes in please, like, we're go, not, <laughs> please go subscribe please. <laughs> pretty please yeah just the way like he said hi <laughs> hey <laughs> the nasal voice no no but like the, i just no, came no. off of my testosterone therapy <laughs> no, but you know what's funny we like i get a couple comments on instagram from friends from friends of friends who say that they like the the podcast and they think it's interesting and it's fun seems very genuine between the three of us uh, they also give some recommendations. I don't know if we got a comment recently of, I think maybe it might have been a long comment. I'm not sure, but the person sent me a long. Uh, no, I was a long it must comment have been a on private this. one. Yeah, maybe, oh, yeah. maybe. No, but we got. I think at the two weeks he didn't post. I think we got two comments saying that where the fuck are you guys basically? Mm. So that's where a, the fuck are we? Yeah, yeah like Wonga. we're waiting for the episode. Wonga I think it was, was one or two. Uh, yeah, two Wonga comments. Wonga was yeah. like, I waited a week and there's no episode, which yeah. was really ha- that made me really. Bro, you need to update me on this shit. <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah. fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 should, yeah. No, no, but it's but it's understandable. I mean, I'm I'm really glad we're doing this. So tenth episode now. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your hat's still in my shot, by the way. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> is it? It was. Yeah, it was. I was like, these motherfuckers need magic tricks in your show. Like, yeah. bro, I swear, I saw his hat on the court. I'm like, what the fuck, you know? But um, yeah, so I think now that we've we've hit ten, yeah, we've survived. Right. No one's been cancelled. Yeah, well, yeah uh, we got a long <laughs> way to go, man. Like till we like actually make it, we have to probably no, no, hit, no. Like, but we made it to ten, like, bro. It's always the first ten steps, right? Yeah. And then the next, and then the next. But what do we see as the future of this, bro? What is the future? Are we bringing I think more guests? guests? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, my dad today was like, "When am I coming on the podcast?" <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> <"Your> <laughs> dad dad is, uh, dad. "My dad doesn't speak <laughs> like that at all." <laughs> well, I met your dad, bro. He has yeah. a British accent. Yeah. No, your dad is weird. a very interesting person to actually. Bring yeah, but on, the right. topics we discuss, I don't know bro, how I much even input made a he's gonna have. Bro, I even made a comment about you when you were a child and your dad, how he sounds compared right, to yeah, you yeah. as a kid. Like he came to the bar with no English. Shalom, and his father's like, "You know, I'll drop you off at eight. See you at nine. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah." Yeah, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. I love it. Beautiful accent, yeah. Stop hitting on my dad. <laughs> He's What's a happily married man. Shahab. 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 Yeah. Salam, <laughs> Um But yeah, it? I think more guests. Mm-hmm. I think next week we could bring one. One of our other friends from Iran is visiting. So oh, yeah. we can bring him on. And then we can bring some of your friends on. To get their perspective on the fucked up no, shit no, no, you've done. No, 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 but I don't, uh, you know, I don't think it's about just, just bringing friends. on friends. Like, I can bring people who, I'm sure you guys can too, can come from different sectors of the, of work, the industries, you know, guys who are TikTok famous, guys that are, you know, like yeah, I mean, YouTubers, I think, gamers. I think at the level we're at, it has to be people that we have like a pre-existing relationship with because it's not like... Bigger podcast, there's a benefit to both sides. You bring the guest, you get the viewers that comes with the guest, and then the guest comes on to get introduced to your audience. Mm-hmm. We're not at that level, obviously. So I think there has to be people that like know us to an extent that would technically it's a favor. At least one of us. Like, you know, it's not like we can't DM a random person. No, like, but bro, you know yeah. Dubai, yeah, hey, like you know someone, yani, friend of a friend, he's my cousin or something like that. I can, I, we can put someone here. It's not yeah, we can. Yeah. But the thing is that the thing is that we need to then make it. I understand what you say about it and the you know the the followers coming here or the followers going there um i think like i, I have one person that's on tiktok I, i'm sure you guys know him, ibrahim uh ibrahim uh, ka I'm the not guy on TikTok. with the mclaren yeah i think a little chubby face a little bit yeah, yeah, yeah a little yeah, bit yeah. of a chubby face yeah, yeah. yeah he he's he goes on a lot of podcasts now we can get him here for a show yeah. or um the only other thing has i think that we need to consider is they get the sense of humor. Yeah, bro. I'm because like, dude, I you think I'm gonna invite someone here? No, no, no I know, but you some, know, I'm a PC. No, but bro, but some people in private they're okay with it, but on camera, like no, no, but know, that, bro, that's the yeah. whole point. Right? When, like when you're gonna invite someone, we're not here to ambush them. You know, no, I mean ambush we them. We have a pre-text and we say to them, listen, you know, we're we're coming on the show. We want to know, like, 
based okay if you finding fame or who, anyone yeah in dubai or you're because i know like a lot of people who have like substantial followings and right. they live in dubai and they get a lot of things for free and yeah. they get a lot we can ask them how did it make you feel different did people treat you different i think that'd be a very good episode yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm see how socially no, like insight into it because through yeah, yeah. And, and how fake people can, can become and people you know, around like how people around you change their the way they behave around you exactly yeah. exactly you we can famous. even bring yeah, yeah. i can even bring people from the i told you we have that wrestling guy uh, eric i'm actually excited yeah, yeah. about that one yeah yeah, yeah. so I'm he told me he's down too. And he's, I mean, oh, you talked to him already. Yeah, perfect. Bro. Yeah. yeah, he's like, he's down. He's like, well, whenever you guys want. And he's a uh, very, very, you know, typical guy from Ohio. <laughs> you know, those, <laughs> you know those memes words. Yeah, yeah. I think he's from, yeah, I think he's from Ohio. Uh, oh. <laughs> but yeah, I think having more guests on, that would be one. And then this new aspect of adding challenges, I think that would be That'd something be, yeah. that well, we can get into it in the episode, like how the challenge is going so far. But in general, <laughs> I think it's a good thing for us. Because the three of us, we were very stuck in our life and like being so busy with work and everything. that I think like introducing these new challenges every other month or whatever, it helps like brings us out of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I would say for myself at least. I mean, but yeah, you know, on the on the chats, I'm bashing you for picking this fucking... Uh, yep. Uh, picking this fucking yeah. uh, challenge, <laughs> but like, uh, I do. you for the 10,000 steps. <laughs> no, it's not even that. It's It's the... Yeah, like I mean that plus the... I've always been an advocate for cold shower therapy, but I've... That was your suggestion. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, I know. Fuck you. And yeah. but <laughs> fuck you. Being honest. But have you not felt any... Di- I felt... I've, I've been f- sick, bro. I've been shivering an hour after I come out of the shower. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> no, I haven't felt nothing. I, have I felt a, hypothermia. Uh, I, I vividly remember someone telling me, yeah, bro, the reason I'm sick is because, you know, whenever I'm stressed and then I have a day of break and I tell my body to break, it really breaks. Yeah. That's the reason I got sick, but doing the cold shower sick. It's oh, yeah, not yeah, that, that, no, I, I felt like a Nazi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, get to the shower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, speaking of... Fuck, just remember. Speaking, speaking of Nazis. Speaking of Nazis. My uncle. Speaking of German <laughs> accent, guess who I saw last weekend? Hitler? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Did like, I die and go... To die? Did I die? There's, there's, no hey, 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 hey. there's no evidence he's dead. There's no evidence he's dead if... I mean, they don't have any dental. He should be dead by now, even if he didn't commit I mean, suicide. You know, German technology? Yeah, I mean, yeah, look at how long Mercedes Benz is like run be, for. <laughs> you don't know, he could be a gerbil. You know, like. No, but our German friend that was. Uh, oh, Lorenz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was he? he was At good. Brasti? No, uh, there was this uh, <laughs> bar lounge called Monkey Club or something like that. Bro, I, I, I just saw it. someone tap on me and I looked and I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, he's tall as shit. And he's like, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> why is he sound Russian? <laughs> I don't know how to do accents, man. I go to him. Germany? When I'm just <laughs> bro, did you? That's <laughs> that's Sorry, <all>. Lawrence. <laughs> we'll cut his video. We don't have to actually show what he did. <laughs> no, no, no. But he's uh, he's he's uh, he's a good guy, bro. Yeah, I haven't good. I haven't seen him, and he's messaged me so many times. Yeah, he's he just, mentioned. I don't <laughs> have fucking time to go to a club, to a bar, to drink because the next day I have to wake up, take a fucking cold shower. Oh man, I'm really and then walk ten thousand steps. Okay, <laughs> let me be honest. The ten thousand steps, like to just explain our like experience for now, right? The ten thousand steps is obviously like it's an effort, right? Like, it is a I, fucking effort. When I came here, I was not hitting the ten thousand. I knew we're not gonna I'm not gonna be walking around much, so I fucking went out and walked around the whole compound. Just, yeah, to, just to hit the steps. To be fair, for you and I, it's a lot easier than him. Yeah, because he's in the office. You have like, like an office sitting. job. Uh, I was also saying because I'm fat as fuck. Like, like I mean, I'm fat, so it, it is. No, that, a, that aside, I don't think you're incapable of doing the ten thousand steps. It's just but more the time you have. Them. Like for me today, I'm at home. <laughs> so like when I put the food in the microwave, I was just doing laps around the house for the three minutes to finish. Or like when I want to no, get a haircut, I, I just walk yeah, to yeah, the haircut place. I get you. But if you work in the office, like, but, bro, I've actually, I've actually tried to find ways. In meetings and stuff to walk, so imagine it's it's like and really you know you have like people sitting down and and, and you, it's like a, a race course around them you can yeah. walk. So imagine everyone's working and talking to each other and then they just see me with a paper walking around going, trying to memorize what I have to say in the speech, but at the same time, okay, one, two, three, four. Wait, do you hold the paper in your right hand or your left hand? Uh, right hand. Okay, because okay. I was gonna say if you hold it in the same hand that you wear the wristband, it's not gonna count your steps. Because yeah, it's the swing. Yeah, is it the swing or is it electricity? Like, so no, people say that it's impact. Oh my, are you no, fucking kidding swing. me? Uh, I think uh, watch to watch is different. Like yeah. for mine is a swing. So like if I'm mine like, hold, too, yeah. like, because I do a lot of shit with my left hand. 
So it, like usually you hold my phone my left to <laughs> don't go. <laughs> like, <laughs> now, if I'm like holding my phone I at, things, like, my for phone calls, I I pace around mm. at the office or anything, right? So when I'm I now hold it with my right hand because like I can get like 500 steps in in a phone call because I legit pace around. Yeah. So it, like now I've either I do AirPods or I hold it my right yeah, hand. But today I went to the to get a haircut and then buy some stuff from the supermarket, right? Yeah. I'm like fuck it, I'll walk there. But I didn't think about how I'm going to carry the shopping yeah, bags. Yeah, that's what was the right? first thing I was going to ask. The same thing happened to me yeah, last night. So I, I go get the haircut. I buy a few stuff. And on the way back, I'm holding the shopping bag in my right hand so I can swing my left normally. And then my nose starts dripping down. So every time I would, because I'm sick. So every yeah, time I know. I, every time I go to clean my nose, I stop so I don't lose a step. <laughs> clean and then walk away. Bro, bro, yesterday I got home from work. And it was, I think, around 8 o'clock. And got home was so exhausted. Didn't even look at my wrist. And then it was like 6.5. And imagine my brother sitting there with his friends. They're all watching TV. And they see me just walking around the living room. And then I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, if I don't make it, I don't make it. Yeah. Mm. I was thinking like that yesterday. Yeah. But then I was like, dude, waxing hurts. Waxing fucking so hurts. We picked a good punishment. Bro, so then I went. Okay. So I went outside like at around 10. Yeah. Walked to the grocery store. Mm. And the wall grocery store. I'm like, oh shit, I don't have water. Let me take water with me and my arms i had just finished working out yeah. my arm my chest and biceps mm. so i'm carrying you know six bottles you know oh, the, you the big ones <laughs> 1.5 bro my arms were gone i had to put it on my shoulder <laughs> and then i was like my 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 discs were starting to hurt and i'm like <laughs> uh, uh. So put it on your head yeah and then my watch bro i did put it on my head actually for like a good <laughs> minute but then i like people were looking at me like what the fuck's wrong with this guy <laughs> he thinks he's black yeah <laughs> I think it's an Indian practice point. No, it's it's both. It's yeah. whoever's smart enough to put it on their head will put it on their head. Trust yeah, me. I'm not gonna like put six 1.5 liter water bottles like that. I yeah, like I think I lost an inch, but <laughs> <laughs> bro, literally, I was walking like this. He goes, he goes like his like neck is like. What was that guy from? Uh, no a neck. Ed. Fiance. No neck. Ed. No neck. Ed. Yeah. No neck. Ed. Like what the fuck? But but imagine so I'm walking back and and uh, my girlfriend is being super supportive. She's like, oh, I'll talk to you on the phone while while you're walking. Yeah, that's good. And um, honestly, the stupid watch goes off and goes, congratulations, you've hit 10. Bro, once I hit 10, my body switches off, yeah? <laughs> but I realize I'm a thousand more away from the house. And I'm like, fuck. And this water bottle, I just start throwing it on the ground. I'm like, go. go. Roll it. Yeah, man. Fucking honestly, man. the 10,000 steps is like, one thing I'm really not looking forward to is a fucking cold shower. Like, yeah. in the mornings, like, taking the cold shower, that shit's like, in my head, I'm like, I got to do it. I got to do this. And I just get in. I'm like, I'm good, like, when I'm doing it and after. But, like, right before, mm. every cell in my body's like, don't do it. Why the fuck are you going through this bro, shit? Bro. And it's very different. Like, we've done this whole uh, sauna cold shower thing, right? When I feel complete, like, the impact is so much worse like no i'll say worse because like in sauna your like core temperature rises and you hit the cold shower kind of like and you're awake like you're awake like before it, then it's yeah. good cold shower you're like imagine like 7 a.m in the morning you wake up you're like like but dude i'm telling you like for me i don't know why yeah so usually when i when i wake up in the morning already we've how many days have we been now three it's gonna be the third today's, day today's it will be the third day, yeah yeah already the two mornings i did it previous like usually when I'm in bed, I wake up at 7, 6 a.m. sometimes. And I'm too lazy to get out of bed. But now I have the hellhole waiting for me. Yeah. <laughs> so I just go in and like, I get a, like, you know, you have, you know, when they say you have sleep on your face. Yeah, that's you just gone. Get, bro, you've seen the videos. Like I, I literally just get in the shower. My face turns red. Yeah, but after oh, that, right. I'm like, yeah, let's go. You know, day is going to happen. Because once you hit rock bottom, the only way is <laughs> it's up. up like, yeah. it's really, like, your boss guy, you know, fired. Don't have to take a shower till tomorrow. <laughs> gonna... Bro, the only the first day I forgot that we're doing the cold shower, right? So you know how cold my room usually is when I have a shoot, like here. Uh, I don't know what you mean. It's but... colder than this. This is warm for when I have a shoot. Yeah. So my AC was on sixteen. Right now it's on twenty. But what are you in Shiraz or some shit like no, that? No, but when I have like four of these lights on, it's oh it's yeah, pretty I get warm. you, I get you. So the night before I leave it on sixteen. In the morning I come, I'm not paying attention. I go in the cold shower. I come out, I'm shivering. Then I'm like, fuck, okay, it's over. I open the door, the fucking wind <laughs> hits me. Fuck that, man. So I was swearing at you too, so much, especially you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, really yeah. swearing at you. Like, uh, but with last night. You should film that, turns me on. Swearing at you? <laughs> the video for today, it's in it. Yeah. The video for today? 
You know the shower? Oh, I did it. Shit. Yeah, so today I forgot to send the video of yeah, me, me showering yeah, in the group chat. Too. So I did it again. We're not putting that on Instagram. We're putting that on our group chat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. No, no, no. We do have one. Oh, Barry's video was so hot. <laughs> Bro, this swear. guy like literally. If put, I wasn't gay at the beginning of this episode, <laughs> I'm gay now. <laughs> no, this guy literally put his like. It was like one inch below. You could see the You pecker. could see the V. Yeah, like, yeah the V, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And he walked into the shower. Bro, we have Magic a video. Magic Mike in the video. We have the video. Let's put like a song behind it. Uh, uh, and slow motion. <laughs> yes, I'll see. blur out your nipples. No, no. Uh, bro, they were like fucking ready to go. They were like, you could cut a glass to get a diamond. <laughs> it's with a that cold, cold shower. Before. What do you expect? Like, my, like yeah. that's just like. Like, if you see my videos, I look like I'm in a fucking, ar- like a prison <laughs> okay. shower. You just see my like dead eyes just staring at me. No, no, no. Yeah, that was kind of intensity you were like staring into the camera like, <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, thing yeah. is in the beginning the first day right i'm like i know i'm gonna swear so i'm just gonna look at the camera so they feel the pain i'm feeling but once the cold water hit me i my brain went blank like you know that andrew tate thing where it's like you shoot a man with a bullet and he just stares at you yeah, you haven't bro you haven't seen that shit no. he, like he keeps saying that they use their one bullet and it didn't kill him Dude, he was staring at us like he was going to come find us. <laughs> you know? And my one was just like, hey, guys, I'm in the shower. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, man, that, that shit is intense. And then what did you say, Kurosh? What did you say? Face on, based on your video, you are the one who has the most to lose because of the hair. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize how <laughs> high his shoulders are. I'm not going to lie. I thought the same thing. The second I was like, oh, my God, his back is going to Yeah. yeah. Like, bro, like, I'm not going to lose it, man. Bro, I'm not going to fucking bro, lose no. it. You had, like, when we set the challenge, I was like, oh, I hope someone else loses so mm. I can do it. Once I saw that video, I'm like, I really hope Faisal doesn't. Like, I feel yeah, bad. And bro. I don't feel yeah, bad yeah, for no, nobody. I wasn't saying that, like, I want you to lose so you can, like, feel the pain. I was like, shit, he's going to suffer. Bro, bro. Cause, no, because we had a very serious phone call. Because he called me. He was like, Bardia. Because I trim my leg hair, right? He was like, you're not going to fucking trim. Because if you lose, like... It's not fair. It's not fair, right? Yeah, dude. I'm I a, saw your video. I'm like, if, if he just shaves his legs, like this is, this is fucking done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I'm, I'm the only person to do. But the thing is that you know, what's funny enough is that I usually do shave. Right. Yeah? yeah. But like now we can't. Yeah, so. now like now we can't. And the thing is that also what's what's a problem is that, dude. If have every have any of you ever tried waxing? No. One strip and I gave up. Bro, imagine I had a bet with my dad. Okay, and we brought a woman to the house to do a back wax. Okay? okay, so my dad's like, yeah, if you do it, I'll do it. So imagine this woman comes. My mom is like, I don't know, thrilled. She's so fucking happy that I'm getting waxed because I feel like then all girls will know their pain, mm. right? Were you doing one strip or you hold back? Bro, bro, it started with one strip, okay? So imagine I'm sitting there and what happens is basically they bring the, like the massage table so you can sit okay. on it and they do your back first. Okay. So I'm thinking, like, I, I'm being a little bit, like, fucking scared. I'm like, yo, is it, is it going to be that painful? And my mom's like, no, no, but she's grinning. And I'm like, okay, when my mom grins like that, there is something that's going to happen. You're gonna so, bro, my dad goes to another room. To, yeah. I don't know, he's watching TV, and I'm, I'm, like, in a separate room. And this woman comes in, and I, I feel like people who do um, waxing have some sort of fetish. I because feel like they become desensitized to like people. Oh, bro, this woman was very sensitized. She was like, she's like, oh, it hurts, it hurt. Bro, the first one she did, like, I couldn't even control it. Tears came into my eyes. That, that's a natural reaction, by the way, because I'm the same thing. If someone like pulls like, like even like this on my hair, or like you know how your nose. No, but hair that's your you nose because to... no, no, but that's your nose, dude. Imagine she did the first one, and I'm like, well, okay, can we stop? And she's like, I already put all the wax on your back, so we have to keep going. Oh I think they know it, so that's why they do it. Like yeah, that. yeah. Like they can clearly put one strip at a time. Bro, but they know people will. Bro, give up. and you know, imagine. Yeah, so she started doing it, and there were parts where it was like just fire. It just felt like fire. So she did my whole back, and I was like shaking. I was sh- shaking, yeah. and I was tearing and stuff like that. And I'm like, "Yo, keep going." And then I'm like, <laughs> "Okay." I'll, you the, the no, no, and then, where you're no, like, no, just keep going. <laughs> like, no, and then she tells me, "Do you do I want to do the front?" And I'm like, "No, fuck, no, you're not gonna do the front." My dad's going next, and like. Why would I do the front? She's like, you you look like a half big fucking chicken. <laughs> like your back is baby soft like and your chest, plucked. you have the ch- hair here and all that stuff. So then like without my consent, she just pulls like, she just, like she literally, just stuck it on she just stuck it on me. Oh, what a wow. And my mom was like, my mom was laughing and I'm like, you fucking bitch. No, but he and I was like, I'll do it. But then you have to do it fast. Right. So she did my whole body. Okay. My dad walks in and says, what the fuck is wrong with my son? And I'm, bro, I'm sitting there like, 
you know, just been prison, you know, prison, yeah, prison shower kind of shit, you yeah. Know? And my dad <laughs> well, walks in, know, and I'm like, <laughs> Dad, it's your turn, and he goes. Fuck no. <laughs> Fair why enough. would I fucking pay? Why would I do this if you look like that? Like you're yeah. crying and shit. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, you lied to me. Like, <laughs> I'm there and imagine. I feel abused. You know, and you know. It Called was a dolphin bro, bro, it, was, <laughs> it, was a, it was a dolphin. T- press three for waxing. <laughs> Yo, what happened to you too, man? <laughs> like, <laughs> I feel you, dog. Yeah. <laughs> you know my dad did the same thing, yeah. man. <laughs> Yo, they hella fucked up. Yeah. So, so imagine we went. So after that, I'm sitting there. And I'm wearing the like the like the house condona, like the, the relaxed yeah, yeah, yeah. one. Bro, any gust of wind that goes in the house, I'm like, oh, fuck yeah. you feel like a plucked chicken, man. So that's why I'm not gonna lose this fucking j- no, no, challenge. Fuck this, I'm not losing. No, but one no. thing. But, like, but dude, you have nothing. You have nothing. Bro, it's still gonna hurt regardless. You like, lose nothing. <laughs> and the thing yeah, is yeah. that like we we've discussed this. Like, well, wax your eyebrows. We've talked about this more, <laughs> like putting the emotion, like changing yeah, it. Yeah. No, but the thing is that, like, if you lose one day, we said we're gonna do the legs, right? That's where all my body hair is, so I'm gonna f- get fucked. Like, yeah, that's so the thing. Like, for the like, audience that doesn't know this, yeah, I I was asking Barry. I'm like, okay, so let's say one of us loses one day, right? We mm. for whatever reason we can't finish it. If the bet is that we already supposed to get our full body waxed. Mm-hmm. What's the motivation to not lose a second day? Yeah, that's true. So I think the best way to do it is like say first day, if you lose, you wax your lower half. Legs. If you Yeah, lower half. Legs. Legs and ass. Not asshole, <laughs> but legs and ass. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's always him and assholes. You don't <laughs> notice? Know, no, it's like, like asshole. Wait, wait, no. wait for the asshole part. Day like. two, upper body. I'm not missing a day. If there's a day three, your asshole. If there's a day for your private area. Can you even do your a man's private area? We'll see, I guess. Well, bro, no, I'm <laughs> not. We're not going to fucking see this shit, first oh, of all. But, but, bro, but, I will come no, to your house and sabotage no, you. But I thought of this. If you only lose one day at the end of the month, then it's a full body. Whoa. Yeah, no. yeah, 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 that makes sense. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Come on, think of the contents, man. Dude, for the views, man. Yeah. Okay, first of all, I'm do not going to lose it? a single Oh, point. yeah. That like and also we said at the end of the month we'll go find like a cold plunge place. No, the cold pl- bro, I'm down for that. No. I even yeah, sent yeah, you. Yeah, I know, I know. You a video of yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the ones you can get at home. We just get ice and put it. Yeah, in there. But I'm not listening a fucking day. That's that's no. Sure but I'm saying I'm gonna film both of them. I think it's gonna be good. No, no, no. Fuck no. Like the thing is that tomorrow is uh well technically today like tomorrow's o- we're going for Omar's birthday right? Okay. And it's from it starts from 12 p.m. Okay. okay. That sounds like a you problem. And no, it's still not. I'm, I don't mind it at all, right? Actually, I'm going to get a lot of fucking steps in. I don't mind that at all. What I'm going to mind is that I'm going to be drinking from 12 p.m. to like fucking nighttime, right? So the next day. So the next day, again, I'm not worried about the 10,000 steps. I'm worried about that fucking cold that shower. shower will fix you in the morning. Hours Bro, that shower will fix, that will fix you. That will fix you in the morning. That will actually oh, get your hangover fuck fucked. me up, yeah. man. No, like, no. All this shit. Like, Thinking about it, yes. But as soon as you do it, you're going to feel much better. I oh. imagine. Bro, you jump out of planes. You jump literally jumped out of a plane skydiving. That's different. You're just going to step into a shower. Different. I you're like that step shit. Into a shower. Yeah, but... I like the thrill. Like that, You can't like, die in a shower. Like, you're just thinking about it. Ask a lot of people who died in a shower, man. Like, people can die. Did he just say, ask a lot of people? Yeah. What unalive? <laughs> like, My grandpa. No. <laughs> why did you look at me like this? Why, why were like, your hands like <laughs> my grandpa? No, 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 the way you had like that. What was that like? Fucking? I don't know if my hands are in your shot, so I'm trying to like maintain my distance. Bro, you. you t- it's me. Man. Am, am I in? How far do I need to come till I'm in? You're not even close, bro. Yeah, no, no. now you're. In. Now, now you're, yeah, there you are. Yours you you good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. For me, man. Oh, the whole time I'm sitting like this. Look at this. I'm 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 in the shot already. Yeah. Yeah, but it also could be the 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 distance that my camera is compared to all of you. Yeah, it's the. Anyways, I'll it explain might be, that I, to no, you. I have long ass fucking arms though. That's like okay, well, yeah. That's show off. Too, yeah. How is that a show off? Like, Just what am I? I'm not a basketball player. It's fucking like orangutan, <laughs> look a motherfucker. <laughs> Stole my joke. Really? I said the orangutan How's your before the podcast. Dead. In the shower. No, in the grave. No. But <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> I'm not gonna leave him in the shower. <laughs> yeah, you can just. Can you imagine? <laughs> Once but, he liquefies, uh, it goes bro, down the drain. Drug comes to you. Can I use your shower? Yeah, just move his body. <laughs> just step over. <laughs> it's Wait. a little mushy now. It's been a few what years. What are we talking about? 
My dead grandfather in the shower. Oh yeah, okay. I was yeah. like, his I'm unalive <laughs> father, I like, grandfather. I, was, I didn't want to like get in the car and I'm like, your grandfather. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, imagine. Wait, is he's dead, but not oh, in the okay. shower. Yeah. I was gonna be like, at least like, <laughs> never mind, never mind. Let's let's. Uh, <laughs> I was like, he's dead, but not in the shower, not by the shower. It's like, he's just, it's he not was in, a, he's not in my shower, guys. It's like, it's not, it's not in my general, shower. general, I don't think you, see, even if you die in the shower, you, you're not going to say he died by the shower. Like, uh, in the shower. No, as in, like, he's not currently in your shower. I think we had an episode where we were discussing about how shitty it would be to die in yeah, the shower. We, did, we yeah. had multiple episodes on this. Yeah, <laughs> it is a, it is a, I think our brains work in a very limited span. Because a lot of <laughs> topics keep coming up. To what peaks? is the meaning of uh, topics? <laughs> <laughs> the Japs. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you say it like you're a fucking World War II vet? Yeah, the Japs. <laughs> well, from what we said. Japanese. Yeah, yeah, no, oh, no, no, sorry. no. The Japanese are very Jin nice Jones. people. And, um, are you crying you know, or is that the, the fucking way, infection? Is the infection? Uh, speaking of Asians, like. <laughs> No, but the I, way he said it was like the way he's looking at us is like he himself found out he has three percent Japanese in it. No, man. But first of all, you know that like my ancestors don't fucking say we're like part of the Japanese Empire. No, mine is Genghis Khan. Like I'm a descendant. That's of bro, to do with three percent of the no, world know, is part of Genghis Khan. You know Tamor, Tamor, like three percent, bro. You know, or Tamor, maybe ten, maybe ten. Tamor Ling. He's like the Turkish descendant of Genghis Khan, mm -hmm. and he took over Iran. And the last, um, like the last one, pump he had, no, the <laughs> last son, the the last descendant of him that was ruling over the country, his name was Amir Hussein. That's where my last name comes from. I'm, I'm from that bloodline. You know what's really funny? I've met I actually, the family, bro. Actually, I've like, I've met so that's many. What explains the anger issues in my family because my you know my grandfather passed away because of his. Uh, like he had so many anger issues he caused himself to have a heart attack mm, i did not know like that shit. Uh, yeah, i think you told me that before yeah so like i that explains a lot of where that shit comes from no, I say that explains you, you know what teeth, i noticed but he cleaned them so. <laughs> my yellow teeth was that i didn't go to a dentist for 12 years and i go there they're like oh when they removed your braces 12 years to ago the, the glue yeah. they didn't fucking remove it properly so they just took one dentist trip and like yeah yeah anyways um I was just about to say, I've every Iranian I've met, yeah. whether it's a girl or a guy, you talk to them long enough, they all say nearly the same thing. You know, my actual ancestry, I well, am... I have the family tree. Bro. No, no, you do. I'm not saying you don't. Yeah. No, I'm just saying, but like, this is not... This it's, not like, it's, it's like a, what you pull out is bro, a girl... <laughs> it's a Persian kind of a shit. Like, it's you see the selfie, that's my great... great <laughs> By the way, that doesn't... I don't think you should say that to people. Does that mean someone in your family got raped? No, but it's from no. the... Again, I don't think they came to Iran for consensual sex. No, 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 like, they didn't. No, but the so family that family was got ruling fucked. over Iran, that's, that's different. Anyways, let's... Yeah. In terms I'm of... I'm not going to get just in say, to defend that my family did it or not because, like, regardless, it's not very comfortable. <laughs> you, know, you guys start fighting for, like, something happened 7,000 years ago. You, <laughs> it was consensual. To, I didn't mean to offend your great, great, grand, great... I don't know how many generations back. No, was it, like, and anyway, no, yeah. it wasn't. It was, I'll, I'll explain Guys, we're often. sitting... With royalty. Not that either, man. They were fucking rapists and killers. I know that shit. That's one Royalty. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's half the royalty, by the way. Yeah. It's either that or they were fucking their sisters. So, <laughs> like... I mean, the British royalty. That's... Like, any any royalty, incest, yeah. Fucking like... Yeah. yeah the That's British why it explains it all, like... You know. <laughs> Did you watch the fucking... Uh, Did you see the interview with King uh, Prince Charles? When they were talking about him, what, what, fi what a woman... Uh, what he finds in a woman sexy? No, bro, Prince Charles, King Charles, he's king now, yeah. But oh, yeah, back then, back then, I yeah, Prince no. Charles, and he has you know the, the English over chap like this, yeah, yeah, and the ears. And I wrote on a comment, I'm like, this guy's ears could pick up sonar, like, <laughs> bro, they're fucking huge, bro. Your hands in my shot. I know that's why I picked them up. Like I'm not trying to. Like, you I'm picked them up. <laughs> That's not like I've, I've, I went, went back. <laughs> Seeing it like it's a detachable body yeah. part. Like, oh, sorry. Let me. Wait, you just shot here. in my room. This one picked it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you must have pissed in my room. Apparently. But yes, see how. I want to? I said like continue. See, this is the the overall theme of uh, of our podcast. We before we get on, we think of an overlying theme. We don't go for that theme. <laughs> we just randomly talk about shit, then shout at each other and argue. No, we, I said I'm never gonna. That's what I said. I'm never gonna piss in your room because I'll, I'm a human, decent human That is being. not what he said. That's definitely not what he said. I'm just summarizing <laughs> it, bitch. I said, 
yeah, yeah, it's okay. Like, it's okay. anyway, it's like I don't <laughs> like. <laughs> so what did he say about his ideal wife, other than his ears being big? I I, I was just looking at the ears, bro. It mean, you know when you get like trauma and you just like your ears go like. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking at them like, dude, Dumbo could trademark that shit. Like, to be fair, I just realized I got massive ears. No, you don't. Compared to him, After bro, he could head. fly. Okay. No, you, no, you don't have, man. What the fuck? No, your like ears are the stick yeah, out. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. But you like know what? Actually, Can you look at me like directly like this. Since since when have you been yeah. wearing no, glasses? Much. It has an effect, actually. It's always in the wrong, wrong time. Well, no, like give me a fucking age, not like. When did you first get glasses? I don't fucking remember, like. Since what? At age? least like I don't know what the fuck. Because like, like at least like I don't know, fifteen years. Okay, so people who wear glasses since a very young age, yeah, because there's this whole thing here, it has an Pushes effect on like pushing like. The, yeah, but like, they also have now a surgery where they can fix your earlobes, like, like they can pull it back again. No, I mean, so if you want, baby, you don't need one. That's basically oh. you don't you know you don't look like fucking yeah, you dumb. Get the eye surgery. Dumbo what? looking motherfucker. Get the eye surgery. I, I told you about that. Me, me, me yeah, and my brother as well. I'm just waiting until I get a gap at work so that I can do it. Why, bro? Bro, the thing is that, like, one of... Uh, Don't fucking tell me a story about someone getting blind, bro, because that'll fuck me up. Never mind. So... Uh, no, not blind, but I've heard that, like, they did a surgery, but it didn't fix it. No, I... Like, that can I? Happen. Okay, this is a very low percentage. I, do, do you want me to tell you or not? Like, tell me. Okay. Maybe I should. But anyways, uh, there's a low percentage that this happens where when they do get the LASIK surgery... At they won't be able to like see properly at night, so you can't drive at night. That's stigmatism. That's different. Stig- no, 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 no. So, bro, you're, you're mistaking no, no, no. it. Night blindness. The night night is, blindness. Yeah, that, it happens with the surgery. Bro, bro. Even now, I can't see at night. Like if well, I, I if you I'm, got nothing to lose, then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah oh, fuck it. No, stig- yeah, stigmatism. Is something no, but else. You can but wear glasses and be okay to no, drive. No, I still can't. F- at night, like sometimes when I drive at night, the lights. Or like you get like hazy, yeah, like, yeah, 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 like hazy and halo. Yeah, yeah. Like, that, that's yeah, basically yeah. like yeah, okay. I'm fucked, anyways. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. That's why I use <laughs> my Tesla. Use okay, so this is where I really wanted to ask. Oh, try to like jump to the subject serious now. Really. Serious, I mean, half not the, half the whiskey glass is gone, it's getting serious. <laughs> well, half of mine is gone, bitch. You know how much of a fat, by the way, do you? I shouldn't get into this, yeah, yeah, but get to your topic, yeah, then we can take a sip because, like, this is your safe place. Tell us. No, it's just that, like, I feel like I have an addiction to, not alcohol, I have an addiction to drinking. Like, when I have a cup in front, like, when I, when I pour myself a whiskey. No, I get what right? he's saying. Like, like I whatever always, liquid is in front of you, you just... Like, I always want to finish. Like, <laughs> no, come on, man. <laughs> you just... Why do you have it in front of you? <laughs> no, as in, like... <laughs> like where, why, Bro, I'm very worried if we ever travel together. <laughs> no, as, as in, like, for What's example, that? I have you this whiskey glass. Is that male? No, I have this whiskey glass in front of me, right? Mm-hmm. I don't... Like, I have this habit of keep drinking it, right? Whiskey, because of its taste and everything, it takes a while, right? But the second it's finished, I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm done with my drink. I want to pour another one because I'm continuing talking and I want to continue drinking. You know what I mean? Hmm. That doesn't apply to a lot of people because they take a sip, they chill for an hour and then like... But I don't see you do that with water. I drink a fuckload of water. That's very different. And during the podcast, because like it's here, I have to like, you know, but I actually have... I drink like... A lot. I don't know. Anyways, get to anyway, the thing you want to ask. Do you believe in um, mind manifestation? Like you manifest something from your mind. Do you believe in that? Like manifestation, physical manifestation? Or are Not you Not talk- like the, the... I hope this doesn't have a copyright issue. Not the fucking force would be with you and like, like I'll do this and I grab a cup. Not that. As in like... For example, you really think about something really hard or not even at all mm. and it happens and it kind of freaks you out because you're like, holy shit, I was just thinking about it and it happened. Do you want to go first or I'll go first? Go. Thanks, Dad. Daddy. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Baba. <laughs> Baba, I go. <laughs> but, fuck um... You, fuck you, Baba. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> I want to make that into a shirt, Daddy. But what are you going to do? D8? Yeah, the dash. dash, dash, the dash yeah, D, yeah, exactly. Dude. Da. Da. <laughs> Why does it every time turn black at the end? Like, what the this fuck? This was a fuck. Daddy. 
No, I wasn't saying daddy. I was saying daddy. <laughs> <laughs> like a British kind of a thing. Like, Do British people call daddy? It's like, it has a more British Bro, accent to it. Listen to this shit. Oh, she's going to be mad. <laughs> like, she, that, whenever you're there, dad's there, you be like, daddy. <laughs> daddy. <laughs> Tell you <I'm> crumpets. <laughs> but yeah, talking about my manifestation. Um, I, okay, this might, might be wrong. Well, I mean, your brain does work on electric currents, right? And the world itself has an electric magnetic field. I strongly believe that, um, you know, a way a person sort of charges themselves in terms of what they think. And, and you know, it's like the secret that if you read of the book called The Secret. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's like positive manifestation sort of happens because you attract it. And I believe in a I sense. I believe in that. Yeah, yeah. So I believe in a sense that. Although I do believe if you put a goal in your mind and you keep reminding yourself of that goal, sooner or later you do do things unconsciously that make you want to reach that goal. Okay. But I also believe at the same time that you, like if, like imagine if I say like, oh shit, I don't want Bardia to check, to look at something. And in my whole time, like while you're sitting beside me, I'm thinking, please don't, please don't, please don't. I feel like my body language and my electric current that's in my brain, you pick that up. Yeah, hundred percent. So, because subconsciously, whatever you think about, you're like, there's a difference between like how, like, whatever your mind signals, right? Your body kind of responds to it. So, like, if your mind, like, your subconscious mind, regardless, that's your thought. No, no, that's not really subconscious. That's you're consciously thinking about it and trying to hide that, mm -hmm. right? So your body language. So your body language, like, for example, if I were to tell you something that you're not very open to talk about. As much as you don't want to, you become very like you do this whole like you do this for example. Yeah, yeah, but you become that's close guarded, and that's your body language about I don't want to talk about this or I'm becoming defensive about it. Mm -hmm. I, like, there's this book actually I, I can recommend that you can it helps you not manipulate but you can read people easier. No, no, but bro, that's that's simple. I mean, like when someone crosses their arms or closes their no, le this is legs, a very in a simple way of like. There's many. Look, you see. We are, at the end of the day, animals. And, like, one of the creepiest things I think I had read when I was browsing the internet is apparently they say, I don't know if it's true or not, sometimes when in the middle of the night you wake up and you just can't sleep for some reason, yeah. it's because something is staring at you. And your, your sort of primitive and prehistoric survival sort of ha um, third eye kicks in where you, you remain sort of alert to it you know well, that bitch and i have a lot to fucking talk about because i suffer from insomnia the moment no no but but ago. insomnia is different so i'm gonna fuck that bitch up because like fucking stop staring at me that insomnia no, but i don't think i don't think that's while. what he's talking about no like, this is like especially a, i think they've done research on this with women they have like an extra gear that they pick up on shit that's happening around them more than men do yeah uh and i think it's like a dna thing like it's baked into our dna's that like sometimes you feel something without knowing for sure something is happening mm. and you get that weird feeling like when you're walking the street and you just get a weird feeling so you get the fuck out of there as quick as you can like in proper survival like courses that like self-defense type of things but i'm not talking about the shit that like Whoa, like aikido shit they tell you like when you f get that feeling yeah. a lot of the times you're right because they interviewed a bunch of women that were in like situations that ended bad like ended up with like kidnappings or rapes or like that kind of shit and they like almost without exception they all said i had a bad feeling when i got into that cab but i ignored it uh, i do not disagree but i'm going to tell you when you recall a story no no i know i know but these are proper researches okay that, yeah, that, that, just, i'm no, just no, saying no. like i asked a bunch of women no, no, but there's know? also no I'm, I'm no, just, no but there's also another like i would tell you there's another Sorry if I cut you off. No, no, no. I'm, no. I, the reason I did that is because I did this and immediately I was like, uh, I'm going to be in this shot. So I okay, just... Okay, no, no. So, you know, 9-11 when it happened, um, there was... So there was some scientists that are researching that if the world has its own conscience. Yeah? Yeah. And... Why are you both like the, about the, the way Barry looked at me was like I was responsible for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 he, you look like one of the guys in the mug show. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just like, I, no, can, please continue. So, we really have to go through it like very like seriously. Yeah. No, no, no. So, so they they did tests where there was like a worldwide 
um, survey and sort of measurement of people's sort of anxiety levels. Mm -hmm. And apparently before 9-11, the world's sense consensus of it was relatively high. Meaning that like people were anticipating something to happen. You know, okay. it's it's very interesting. Wait, that I would like, uh, please elaborate because like, you know, well, like you gotta I'm, read uh, the research paper they did. So, like, no, you have to, yeah, like, because he's read it. I'm asking. No, no, him I'll send you on the group. So, so there's two things, right? So, how you can predict sort of people's anxiety levels is one way, which people I don't know, is that you can actually look at people's stocks, stocks, oh, okay. buying and selling. Yeah, right? yeah the pattern uh, of pattern of sell, sales, pattern. yeah, spending. Um, is it happening Sort now? of spending patterns and stuff like that. No, they still do it. So, so you have to remember something. Um, the world itself is an organism that mm -hmm. reacts to wars and re commodities rise and fall based on the whim of a war or anything like that. So you do have people studying this and seeing that if it could be predictive. No, I understand. The only reason I'm saying is it happening now, I'm not saying like if the studies continue now. Because right now you know that the no, rates no, so are rising and everything. Oh, like sure, they but got jacked. No, but there's a yesterday what, what? the rates Stock from prices. the no 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 the like this center. No, but that's different. Like, luckily, I'm in that field, so I know about it. But the rate didn't increase as much as it did. That's this is actually the smallest hike we have, zero point twenty five uh, twenty five basis points. So yeah. yeah, so before then it was higher, much higher. But the thing is that why interest rates go up? Why do interest rates go up? In general, like the whole interest rate, stock market, all of that is based on fear and trust of people in the market. Like how much fear they have of segments of the industry. And so, so I'll explain. So, sorry. so based on interest rates, no one makes interest rates other than the central banks of mm -hmm. countries. Yeah. S interest rates rise and fall to basically fix the market. If everyone is spending and everyone is giving each other loans and stuff, the market is going to go into inflation. Yeah. So this, these hikes you've seen in the last year and a half are because economists see that hyperinflation could happen and would happen mm. and is happening. So from now, they're raising interest rates. So in the future, people don't want to take uh, loans because they're too expensive. Yeah. That's the only reason. The stock market and stuff, that is different because it's buying and selling and sort of looking at commodities and commodities are directly related to macroeconomic ten, like, um, trends, which is war, which is policies coming out about crypto, policies coming out about a company. So, so that's different. But what these researchers have done with that 9-11 study was that they saw that the overall signs of anxiety were high, considerably high, just before 9-11 happened. And when it happened, it, like, like, like you could see the spike just before. Mm -hmm. So they're wondering, was this the world's sort of... Manifestation? Uh, not manifestation, no, rather, but like, since rather we're on the topic like Koro mm. said, that people sort of walk somewhere and say, this is a bad place to walk. Mm. It could be something that's so, like, so normal that you just don't like the lighting or you think you've seen something. It's like... It's like you have a preset of like certain exactly like, uh, or your triggers. Yeah, in general, yeah, yeah. Like and, and, and us as human beings, like, did you, did you know that human beings generally get uncomfortable from mouth teeth? Mouth teeth? Teeth. Okay. Like teeth. Do you know why? Why? Because human beings have been bred into their mind to believe that, not even to believe, it's when something has a lot of teeth that are sharp. It's most likely you're gonna eat me. It's a threat. Yeah, it's a threat. Mm -hmm. So that's why in the horror movie you see they always have huge teeth, yeah. big mouths, because for us, it's been burnt into our minds that these are predators that are out to get us with big eyes and such, or the cat-like eyes. That that's actually interesting because, like, to be honest, like when you say that, immediately in my head, what I'm what I'm thinking about is the fact that, like, for example, if I were to smile at you, mm. right? If I do this. Mm. It's a very like mm -hmm. passive gesture, right? But if I smile at you fully, Your showing teeth. my yeah. teeth, I'm showing emotions, and when I laugh, I full on show my teeth. So I thought like teeth is just like exposing like an exaggerated kind of like a reaction to whatever it is. So I I I would say that like I don't know like it wouldn't be like it could go the other way as well. 
Like, no, no, as but in, yeah. like, teeth to, like, sharpen all that shit to, like, mm-hmm. fuck people up. But like, I'm saying, like, in the se- sense of, like, showing extreme amount of happiness, extreme uh, amount of dopamine and serotonin release and everything like that, that's not out. Like, a laugh loud. No, no, but... I, like, sorry. No, 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 but... Loud laugh that, like, you open your teeth, and, like, you expose your teeth and, like, laugh out no, loud. No, but you don't smile to expose your teeth. It's, it's not like you, you know, I'm going to show that I'm happy. Like, like like you're doing this, you know what I mean? You're you're smiling, and by you smiling, the teeth are exposed. Yeah. But what shows when I'm angry? Like that, you know, like I, you get angry. Like you know, mm. like you grind your teeth. But it's not like if I see your teeth, I become uncomfortable because you, first of all, you are a reflection of me. But let's say you had a huge mouth, like like really like you know those horror movies when the smile the is Joker huge? like yeah, like the smile is huge and the teeth are like either sharp or whatnot, it goes to that prehistoric um, sort of manual that's in our head that says that is dangerous. Yeah. So, again... You know, that's a very similar reason why uh, when you see a movie that they CGI someone's face, you feel uncomfortable watching it. It's unnatural, right? Yeah. So, we subconsciously get very used to, like from when you're young, reading people's faces Mm. based on very small twitches on your face that like you wouldn't be able to like pinpoint if you're thinking about it yeah so there's this thing called the uncanny valley i think that cgi is at that point right now that they can make the face so close to a real face but not exactly identical to a real face like the emotion wise that your brain picks up on that there's something off here Without you even thinking about it. Yeah. So, like, a lot of times, like, you're in a movie and, like, if you watch... Uh, they make a character younger, right? If you watch, like, Irishman. Uh, Irishman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Irishman. I didn't watch the that Irishman. movie. Really. It was a good very movie. Long. Very long. It, it, yeah, it, it was very that's long. A, that's the problem. Like, because a lot of people say it's too long. Yeah, but and anyways... Uh, the I'm a big fan of Goodfellas, by the way. Just like, oh, yeah, same remember. vibe, kind of. But if you watch, like, the early part of the video, like, at least I felt that. That I felt a certain uncomfort that I couldn't put my hand on, like, why that is, is your brain picking up on the, on, like, the facial reactions not being genuine. Uh And that's the same as when you look at someone, you're like, oh, that guy's full of shit, or, like, that guy is, like... Mm -hmm. Now, some people are better at this than others. They're, like, when you look at someone, it's like, oh, I get a weird feeling from this person. Like, you see, like, I don't know. I'm like that, you know me? Like, uh, I look at someone... but, But you've gone to a really good point there. It's like, when you talk about looking at someone, especially... You know, we tend to forget that there's the conscience and then the subconscious. Mm. The subconscious is doing work we never even realize. Yeah. You know, and that CGI is such a good point because you can see it in movies. You can pick it out in a second. You know, yeah. it's such good work, but you can pick it out and be like, the way he smiled or the way he is not human. Even if you can pick it up, you're like, I feel uncomfortable. Like there's something about it that you're like. Bro, those robots. Have you seen those robots? They're trying to make into human. Like, like yeah. they put the human skin in them. It's terrifying. Uh, yeah. Would you do the Neuralink? Dude, look. Apparently, he's six months away from well, being tested on humans. Well, I thought you were footsie me, and I was like, why is your feet so cold? No, I'm not. <laughs> like, okay. You're saying, the what Neuralink. about. Yeah, I, I heard. That's the Elon Musk one, right? Yeah, yeah. so. Yeah, so it's you, six months away from human testing. I'm, according to him. I'm. I'm kind of like I'm kind of, of tempted to be honest, bro. I'm bro. not gonna be the first round. No, I'm not gonna be the first round. Bro. But I kind of like if it were to be hundred percent available, hundred percent. It's part of our evolution, basically. This yeah. is this is Can the we evolution. Can and shit like that? No, it's like it's, it's just here's the thing. Am I like it got like because like I like um, here's the thing like I'll think about like different kind of like business aspects and everything because like i'm in that field like you know, like business aspects like what i do and everything like that right i'll think about like this i'm like am i gonna be the person who has that limited mental kind of a uh, capacity right that i'm gonna reach certain states and i'm gonna think about like different aspects of it like factors and everything like that and then would it be it why wouldn't i tap into that whole resources like that so i can the, have access to because i, I, see, I see you the always want to be the upper hand you want to always be the one that's like i can think more of than you like yeah, i can i can access I know, more I know, information those are all the benefits right 
all the downfalls of it is that so have you heard Elon Musk talk about it? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Explain how it is. Have you watched have you uh, Joe Rogan? Uh, bitch, I told you about Joe Rogan. I've watched everything you've no, watched. Bi- bitch. I've watched every episode. Get over okay. it. Okay. You know what? Fuck you. Like, I'm just trying to like, actually like, put I, it out there that no, like, it's you, available. I, 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 like, I, ha- I haven't watched it, but my biggest ex- fear is the radioactive or the radiation. Yeah. Coming off from a device that would be in your brain because well, already phones give you radiation. Yeah, I know. My, but my, but my that's fear not my biggest be, fear. My my fear would be the access. Because yeah, like, let me let a, me explain to him the way that I remember Elon Musk saying what it was. So then I tell you the fear. He was saying that we have all this information technically in the air floating around us, and the only way we can access it is through a phone. But the, what limits us from accessing it at a way faster rate? is that we have to use our fingers to mm. access that information. So this removes that barrier that you have direct access to everything you want instantly, right? Yeah. So that was, that's like a basic explanation he gave in 15 minutes, uh, at least what I got from it. My fear is that if you have something external that's connected to the internet, basically, or anything... You get hacked. Yeah, you get controlled. But yeah. for me, that's worth the payoff. I mean, like, it's worth the payoff, but at the same time, like, you're obviously always, like, kind of concerned, like, about the fact that how much are you exposed on There's, the web. I actually prefer like to that. be within, like, the first few generations that do it than later on. Yeah. Because sure. I think if if this was a thing that they're all planning on controlling people, right, they wouldn't do it in the beginning. <laughs> they'll wait till everyone gets it. I, yeah, I think they'll do it from the start, actually. No, but like, I think they'll have, like, how, a... How, I think they'd have like a fail safe in your head. So they're like, oh, Korosh, we can't control him. Detonate. No, no, that I know. But I think they're going to wait till. There was a Suicide Squad, was it? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Had a whole... But bro, you know what's actually, you guys talking about this now reminds me. You, any of you watch Black Mirror? Yeah. Yeah. Not all the episodes, bro, but some of them. Bro, you need to watch one of them. And it's such a good. The one that censors. Of... Dude, that yeah, was yeah, so yeah. good. You can just block someone. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. So, so, like, so the kid is. You know, they have this technology where basically you're, I don't think you're in my shop. No, I'm, I'm checking. Uh, don't, yeah. don't get okay. bothered by it. I'm just really conscious about it now. Yeah. So don't worry about it. Just fucking put your hand down. Um, so the kid, like the mom is super paranoid. Mm-hmm. So she finally has a daughter and stuff like that. And, she, and this company is like, you know, we can make sure she never sees anything bad in her life because you're traumatized and stuff. So we'll put this device in her head where. Bro, the device literally filters out things that could be violent. So imagine she sees someone on the road who looks like a, uh, gets hit by a car. She just blurs it out. So she can't see what it is. Mm. So anyway, the, the mom starts controlling more and more things so she can't see. So the kid doesn't know what violence is and stuff like that. But then at the end of it, it bites her in the ass and the daughter kills the mom. <laughs> and she doesn't understand what she's done. That's actually very really fucking ironic. But like, uh, the, the thing is... Uh, <laughs> and then there's also another episode about the eye. Remember the eye one? The one Which where he, he finds his wife cheating. I don't think I've seen. I, I told you I've seen very bro, few please episodes. Please watch that. Like the latest the the send the episodes. Send the episodes so we can watch bro, it. Because like please I've watch also it. seen like what an what like, an episode for like not knows of like the whole dark like psychopathic. I'm not gonna label it I psychopathic. Am, yeah. Like okay, you will. As your as, like, as your psychiatrist, I'd say also psychiatrist. No, because like, I have the same. So. Yeah, I'm not gonna say like psychopathic, but I'm gonna say like she knows like I'm I'm just like like. But here's the thing, like two steps away. You from all know shooting. my wife. Like she's a very empathetic, like she's a very nice person, and everything like that. Of course, but, yes. And I'm like it's like light and dark, like between no, us. You're right? tilted. You know a what's really dark. funny? You can, can I say something? You you both say this like <laughs> you're tilted. No, no, no. You're tilted you tilted a little. <laughs> What is it? I'm I heard. Gonna I'm gonna I, block I, that. But yeah. <laughs> little okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, he said. No. Okay. Block oh, that one. No, I'm right, leaving that. Serious. Let's <laughs> just <laughs> no, bleep that. Seriously no. Bleep so, that. so you you tend to say that like yeah you know everyone's good. I'm kind of a psychopath. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm never. I'm not say empathetic. That. But you're the nicest. Honestly, both Very of you nice. are one of the nicest people I, I have met. To and you yes. and every to everyone. No, no, no. He I, is so nice. To I everyone. know I am. You, I don't know so much. Like <laughs> you, and, no, no. But I'm not like like you, you're normal. You know what I mean? Like like no, I'm, you, not, no, I'm not, not nice to majority of people. Bro, no, you're not gonna bring a hunting knife and then shiv them in the fucking service. Okay, you, know? you think know, about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, I think, no, but that's bro, natural. I, but not natural. <laughs> but, no, it's no, not that true. No, 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 I'm no. telling you, do, police car is going to be outside <laughs> saying, hey guys, how was your podcast? We've been asked by the government to follow you three. <laughs> no, 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 no. But I'm saying it's, it's natural because like 
what in his mind from my understanding is that he has that defense mechanism that like we all have that humor defense mechanism that we do that that's what like breeds our dark humor right but like in general like what i believe in is that like we have those stuff but like being nice i do understand right that being nice is a major factor into like how society should like function and everything so you have to be nice to people because pe that that makes people be nice to you and that's how human interactions work and everything like that so i'm saying like being nice is it, it's a must so i'm not, not saying really. i'm not a nice person no, not really but no. i'm i would never say like i'm a fucking psychopath but i do believe that i'm not very um affected no, but by clinically to be a psychopath you need to be a criminal okay if you look so at I'm, the I'm not a criminal yeah, yeah, yeah. like if you look at the definition of it, you can have. I think there's I'm like, just saying he looked at the definition of being no, it was like on a podcast. <laughs> I heard. Uh, so there's like I think like twenty something uh, markers yeah. that will. You want more? I have to go get it from downstairs. Give me a glass. Let me finish and then. Okay. We'll continue. Uh, so there's like twenty something markers that will qualify you as to be uh, clinically like uh, psychopath. Psychopath, right? And one of them is you have to do a criminal activity. That's one of the, depending on which country you look at, majority countries, they need that for you. You could have psychopathic tendencies or have a few other markers well, like out of it. like something? Anything that's yeah. considered Any, criminal. Anything that's criminal. Like you, tendency to repeatedly do like it. Like wearing those pants? It's criminal. <laughs> Shut the Stop fuck. Stop it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're all going hard. <laughs> 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 the guy who yeah, says hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Bleep that as well. Yeah, please. of Thank course. You. Yeah, okay. we're not very cancelable. If you think about it, like. <laughs> no, no, no. It, no, because we want to be on YouTube. That, that's the whole point. Like, it's like the whole cancel. Oh yeah, we have our first strike. Yeah. Yeah. On the tenth episode, we'd like to announce that we have our first strike. Yeah. Uh, let's not get into it. Well, anyways, yeah. So you could have some of the markers that a psychopath could have, but not be technically a psychopath. Mm. And I definitely have a few of them. I've done a bunch of tests. I'm like 40% there. But... Uh, he said it like, it, 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 said it like a motivational thing. <laughs> I'm 40% there. Just three more killings <laughs> and a dog I'm, fucking and I'm there. I have the test if you want. It, no, but like the thing that like... You it's a mix, of, of, yeah. mix of the two things we were talking about. You said you, um, you have to be nice to people for society to run. And also we were talking about like reading facial... Uh, like, yeah, facial, like, reactions and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So I have a, like, what I've noticed with myself is that usually I'm, if not nice, I'm not rude to people. I'm, like, start at a neutral till I see where you are at. But I have this other thing that I don't think a lot of, I don't know if that's a common thing or not, but certain people, I see their first faces as animals. And I see it as animal traits. So, like, there is there has been situations that i see like the first time i look at someone the first image that pops in my head is a snake and then later on i learn that this person has fucking like backstabbing like type of traits and it you. doesn't happen with everyone but some people like when i saw you automatically i told you this before the first time we met the feeling i got inside was like oh i can be super open with this person and like be comfortable with this person and everything what animal did i look like though koala are you fucking no, kidding? No, I swear, I swear. But like I, to I bet he wished you said grizzly bear. No, because yeah, he, he trusts you if you're no, a fucking no, no, grizzly bear. No, because he put his hands here on the gorilla. <laughs> no. He was like, oh, you know? no. Wait, it was a uh, gorilla or a grizzly? Which? Your, um, what the, the brand fuck thing are that, you guys talking about? The brand thing you were thinking about. Oh, gorilla. About. Gorilla? Yeah. Okay. Can you explain what the fuck you're talking about? Uh, no, I can't say it here. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's fucking uh, off need to know basis. Off air, off air. How come I don't know till now? Uh, this is like a couple I years ago. You, bro. I think I've told you. This is when I started Emovic. Like the, that's when we were talking about. Oh this. yeah, yeah, yeah. Something okay, that's going, okay. Yeah. But yeah, so for MVIC me, it's that. Close, like, by the way, it's I start at either neutral or generally nice to people. But if I see you as that animal, I'm not gonna be nice to you from the beginning. I'm not gonna be rude, but I'm gonna be like neutral, hmm. leaning towards hmm. negative. No, fair enough. Like, like I've done this with people you know, like the friends you used to have around you. I don't know if I told you I saw them as an animal, but I started at a no, you, wrong basis. You, you definitely have told me, but here's the thing. Like, I, I've told you this before, and I've, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this on the podcast. Like, the thing is that, like, before, I used to have this out, like, like this perspective on the world and everything like that, and around people around me and everything. Is that, like, okay, uh, 
let's just have fun, right? But I definitely have that view, right? right. Like, it's just that, like, okay, what is what am I getting out of this? Like, I'm looking for fun. This is this is the person to have fun and everything like that. Let's let's just let's get to it, right? We're almost done with the episode. I don't want to get into something. Thank you. All right. Interrupting the whole episode. All right. No, no, no. <laughs> Fuck it. You're sick. What did you think? I'm going to pour whiskey out of my ass? Bro, okay. Like, I'm what did you think? It. I'm, I'm going to have it. Just drink. Just drink. I'm not going to have it, though. Like, Great. You're sick, motherfucker. I'm not going to have your Bro, fucking what glass. Fuck? What's wrong with you, man? He's sick. I'm not going to get sick, you man. Like, just I'm, have his I'm 10,000 vape? steps on a cold shower to get every day. Like, I'm not going to get sick. Like, this is bro, then we're kind of fucked, bro. He handed us bottles of water with his hands. If he would have... Well, I fingered the water. Yeah, like, what do you mean? Like, like, <laughs> shove it up his asshole and then his mouth. Like, the bottle like, just like... To be honest, you know, if he did shove it up his ass, we wouldn't get sick. It's his nose is the problem. And his Regardless, mouth. Regardless, he didn't do it, first of all. And second of all, that's not going to happen. I wish you did. All right. Okay. All right. No. Oh, the ribbed edges? Like, come on. <laughs> like... Wait, can every I? That's never, that's no, never stopped only, you. That's never stopped you before. <laughs> the only, every hemorrhoid I have is gonna. Like, no, the only reason I want to, like, I gave you my glass so you can pour it because I was gonna mention something is about the whole mind manifestation thing that I was gonna say is Please. that like, so for example, uh, I barely dream, right? Mm-hmm. And I really want to th- talk. I really don't. Mm-hmm. Like, I pass the fuck out at night. Wake up seven a.m. I, I am quite sleep deprived not as much as him that like i lag but like uh no, you they're just on a different waveform yeah <laughs> yeah but basically that like so so in my head i'm like okay you know what like uh i really questioned it last week right ever since i had that question in mind right every night i started to have dreams about okay the first time i dreamt was a nightmare right then I woke up for like I barely wake up during the night, and I woke up and it's a dream that I had that it okay I'm gonna give a bit of backstory here. So basically, uh, my mother has like studied the meanings of dreams and everything, and even in a to people who are not part of the religion of Islam, like, uh, has also studied the book of the Islamic way, uh, like, the translation of dreams and everything. She's also studied that and everything. Not a very religious family, but she, regardless, she's studied that as well. I talk to her whenever I have a dream, right? I have, I have not and will not and am not will ever discuss this dream that didn't this nightmare that i had because it was to a point that it woke me up and it was to a point that like for me what i said about like oh i'm not affected much about a lot of things like i got affected by it and after that like i had just weird as fucking dreams like uh, the second night or was it the third night i had like dream that i had seven pets that were all cockroaches and i was like sad that they would they were missing and shit like that. It was weird as fuck, right? What the fuck? Seven I know, cockroaches? I know, I know. It was weird as fuck. His dream is him walking seven cockroaches on no, the beach. No, no, no. <laughs> it was. It was. It was like weird as shit. All right? my exes. And, okay, moving on from... What? <laughs> Those cockroaches <laughs> are all your exes. <laughs> oh, my God, no. No, but the... And the other thing is that, like, the reason I was going to hand you the glass, so you, because I knew you were okay to, like... Because I knew you're okay for to leave the podcast. Why I'm explaining this to him is because when I told him about this weirdest thing that happened last episode, I think, or the no, actually, episode before that, uh, the we started talking about the haunted house thing. Yes. Right. So when we we're talking about the haunted house thing, I was gonna say, guys, would you be interested in us doing a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Shot the camera on him. Yeah, yeah, we got that. What's thing. happening? Here? <laughs> Better oh, keep the that editor. Footage. He's, he's <laughs> the one who edits, like, edits. I'll edit this one. <laughs> no, but I'm saying, would you don't, be interested? Don't even dare to fucking would, go to Would you guys be interested if we made a podcast in a haunted house or make a video of us going into a haunted house as one of the episodes? Hold up, can you fucking can can we actually fucking like get to the haunted house? And be like, yo. Set up the cameras, lights, and everything. None we, we can, sit down. We, he has he has the gear and stuff like that. We can sit down and stuff like that. It's not an issue. My yes, my fine. my cousin went. Let's do it. 
Bro, that actually sounds really fucking And we turn off all the lights? We have night vision or no? Who the fuck is that? <laughs> what I the shoot fuck? videos from restaurants. Like, who the fuck like, night vision? Bro, I don't know, man. Okay, listen. I've seen some of your I sets. have one pair. Like, that's for private reasons. pair of nuts? I know you do. <laughs> No, okay, yeah, wait, it was your forehead all night. The, thing is, <laughs> the reason is that we were talking about the we were talking about the haunted house thing, right? And in my head, like after the episode, right? I was thinking that very sorry about that. It's okay. Uh, uh, I think we need to end the episode. Yeah, because we have guests coming. So can I, can I say this first? Fast. So in my head, I was like, okay, uh, the haunted house thing, right? I know he's had some like haunted house kind of like kind of like spooky ass fucking experiences i know you have with the whole like sitting in the room she was living in my house rent free she was living in your house right and all that and i was like i would like to bring this subject up in the podcast but i have nothing to give right the next day after that whole nightmare shit that i had and i found out that my wife after I woke up at 4 a.m., my wife at 5 a.m. woke up from a nightmare as well. Uh, she came back from work. I was back home as well. We were chilling, talking, everything. Imagine there's a couch there, couch here, and this is the, you know, that chair that I have mm-hmm. that I sit on? Yeah, yeah. So I'm sitting on a chair. She's sitting on uh, that couch, and my phone is charging on the other. So for the one, for the people who are listening on, just listening and not watching the video, his wife is sitting like two meters away from him and the phone is two meters away from him in, in the opposite direction. And her, yeah. like no one has access to that phone, yeah. right? And I was listening to one of Joe Rogan's episodes. Was, uh, my phone was on Spotify because Joe Rogan moved to Spotify and like I was listening to that. Put my phone in charge, set it there. We, her and I were just catching up talking, right? All of a sudden, all of a fucking sudden, oh. After I, I was thinking about the whole, like, oh, I haven't had any encounters or anything, mm. right? I shit you not. Like, she will uh, testify. Like, like Let's after. bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> She's not in there. No, I mean, she'll be here in a bit. Like, um, yeah, okay. Yeah, so, uh, so after all that, I, well, while we were talking about random stuff, right? And at no point or anything, I mentioned the name that, like, sp- you know, sparks the iPhone to mm. search it. I don't want to say it now because my phone's yeah, going to go you, off. I got you, I got you. Uh, it came up saying that, no, not, it didn't come up saying that. All of a sudden, my phone started playing a song, The Lullaby, okay. for babies dreaming and everything. Okay. I don't have that song. It was not, it was not in my search history or anything. Here's the thing. In my head, when it happened, I went and paused it. I was like, what the fuck was that? I sat back down in my chair, started talking, to con- started continuing the conversation. Because like, from my upbringing and everything, you give meaning to whatever shit's happening. Like some bad shit can happen. You're like, you know what? Three bad things has happened and then good shit happened. And then three other bad things have happened. That's like a you are giving yourself a, a definition to what's Bro, happening. Bro, human right? beings are always in the sense of making things bigger than they are. So you always have to be a reason behind it. Yeah, but like I'm saying about the whole, the reason I, I think it's a sign, of God, a sign from God that you should have a child. What the fuck, man? The like, or or what the fuck is you're Apple sitting with your wife. Randomly out of nowhere, a kid's lullaby comes on. Yeah, okay. So let's say that in this it's time, man, you should name okay, him after so me. Uh, what the fuck? Fuck man? you. Dibs. I actually left for you. <laughs> what the fuck? Done. No, no, but seriously, like, I'm. That's, Natalie that's is what done. I'm done. <laughs> okay. Natalie's not done. Don't worry. Uh, hey, so, bitch. I'm a good name. You have actually a good name. Well, get, like, for, get it. Get it. That's done. Cyrus is great. Yeah, I know, but like, Kurosh means Cyrus. Cyrus. No, I know, but I don't mean to. Kurosh name. means Cyrus? Yeah. yeah. Cyrus the Great's name is actually Kurosh, but in a uh, English like translation. translation means Cyrus. So that's mm. why Cyrus the Great. So yeah. So that's what I was saying that I brought up the whole my manifestation thing was when I say like, yo, like I thought about why don't I dream? And I had nightmares back to back every night. And I thought about the haunted house thing and all of a sudden something spooky. I don't categorize that as spooky. Mm. I categorize as like it's like, weird. Uh, it's a coincidence, you know. Uh, uh, and at the same time, you know, human beings apparently do dream, but you never remember your dreams. Yeah, so yeah when you're yeah, sleeping, that, that, you don't yeah. think you do. And I, being a person that has gone through it, 
I had times in my life where I was very upset and guilty for things I had done. And my dreams reflected that, like, bro, horror. You know, like, kind of dreams that you think you're in hell for. So I think your mindset is a very good place to start for your dreams setting themselves up. But, yeah, yeah I mean, like, I know now we're out of time for this episode. But I think, you know, maybe us having that sort of haunted haunted night. I'm actually very excited. Let's do that. Yeah, I'll set it up so... So, Kurosh, you done? To go to a haunted house and make it home? hundred fucking percent. Yeah, yeah I'm actually very excited about that shit. Because I don't believe in any of it. Bro, that's the thing. Me too. Like, like I believe in it, but I don't believe it can do anything to you. And so many people have been like, you know, I went in there and I got dizzy. I'm like, you probably have high cholesterol. So. No, I don't believe yeah, in any of that like, shit. So, like, whatever. I don't think manifestation works in that. No, no, no. I, no, I just want to yeah. say that, like, my mind said, like, okay, you're not seeking any dreams. Let's have some dreams. Like, hey, I have... I'll give you my point of view on this in the next episode because we mm. have some commitment we have to get to now. Yeah. But yeah, I think when I say my thing, it might explain or give you a new point of view because I think it's a bit of both of you and a little bit different. But anyways, uh, we're good for this episode, right? Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. very good. All right, so let's make a note of that. Next episode, we'll talk more of this and, and we'll and get an update on our February challenge for exactly. sure. And yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching this episode and also subscribe to our social media accounts if you want to see how we're progressing through the February st- what are we calling it step challenge step challenge yeah um, a hashtag it was an available challenge okay. that's how I'm doing the yeah. uh, social uh, media and also if you want to join send us a DM on Instagram and we said that if anyone joins at the end of the month if any of us loses a day or whatever you get to wax us so you get the pleasure of no players. no no we didn't agree to that we, we said done. no I said it on camera now so it's done <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode. See you next week. See you. See you. Bye-bye.